the consequences of the USA Javelin missile hit AT-80 BVM tank have been published. A Javelin missile hit AT-80 BV tank and the turret was thrown back 15 meters. A few hours ago a video of destroyed T-80 tank by a Javelin missile was published in the internet. Judging by the type of armor and protection equipment installed on the fighting vehicle, identified as relict, we are talking about the T-80 BVM variant, experts have not yet confirmed that this is the case. However, despite the fact that this version of the tank is considered one of the most protected, the armored fighting vehicle literally had its turret torn off and thrown back a dozen meters, this is how the tank was identified. The victories of Ukrainian propaganda were dispelled by the statement of Ukrainian leader Volodymyr Zelensky, who accidentally mentioned that Ukrainian troops needed tanks. So far, Ukraine has claimed not only that armored vehicle losses are minimal, but also that the Ukrainian military has allegedly acquired several dozen additional tanks in a month. According to Zelensky, as of today the AFU will only need 1% of NATO tanks, which implies the transfer or sale of 200 tanks to Ukraine. Considering that the request is for a rather significant number of armored vehicles, experts believe that today the AFU has extremely serious problems with the availability of armored vehicles. This is largely due not only to Russia's strikes on the Ukrainian military infrastructure, but also to the fact that when retreating, the Ukrainian troops simply abandon serviceable equipment, which subsequently goes under the control of the Russian military or the DNR and LNR units. At the same time, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg gave Zelensky an official and clear answer, there will be no deliveries of such weapons to Ukraine. The Allies are doing everything they can to support Ukraine with weapons so that it can defend itself. At the same time, we have a responsibility to prevent this from escalating into a full-scale war in Europe, not just between Ukraine and Russia. That would be more dangerous and destructive, Stoltenberg said.